the internet. Whether you use Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, or if you're smart, Vivaldi, chances are that 90% of what you do happens within your web browser. If you haven't tricked it out yet, you're missing out. Let me show you our top three browser plugins to make your internet experience top tier. Browser plugins are no longer simply a symptom of sketchy software, like when you downloaded that racing game off the internet and suddenly you had a new taskbar and your default search engine changed. Today, browser plugins are there to make being on the internet better and safer. There are plugins that hide unwanted content, save you money when you shop online, autofill your passwords on websites, and keep you safe from prying eyes while you're out on the internet. The best part is that most of these are free and open source. At this point, there is no reason that your browser shouldn't be decked out in at least some of these plugins. The first one we'll take a look at is Dark Reader. Dark Reader enables dark mode on pages in the internet that don't have them natively. For instance, if we go to rcompose.com, you will see that it is a very pleasant, easy on the eyes dark theme. Whereas if I were to go to it in Firefox, I'm met with a very bright and harsh web page that is black on white. Dark Reader gives us all of the functionality of the web page but based off a dark mode that, in my opinion, should come by default. Next, we'll take a look at uBlock Origin. uBlock Origin is a plugin as well that just sits up here in the browser plugin toolbar and blocks ads for us. To demonstrate, here is the front page of Yahoo, and I'm going to take a look at all the different ads that are located here. Here's the first one, here's another one, a third one that actually stays with me, as well as one that is cleverly disguised as an article. Now compare that to the front page of Yahoo with uBlock Origin turned on. There's no ad at the top, no ad at the side, no ad following me, and no ad disguised as an article. We can actually see at the top right here that uBlock Origin on its icon is indicating that it has blocked 947 scripts that serve advertisements on this page alone. Lastly, and probably most importantly, is the Bitwarden browser plugin. This plugin, which is available on all major browsers, connects to a Bitwarden application where I store all of my usernames and passwords. It's my password manager. This allows me to log in automatically to any website on the internet. For instance, if I were to go to Rundeck and open up the Bitwarden browser plugin, I could fill in my Rundeck credentials into the website to log in. This works anywhere on the internet, and in fact, Bitwarden as an application is a service that Arcompose is able to offer to you in any instance for you to use with your browser plugin. These are just a few of the browser plugins that I'd recommend. If you have any plugins that you can live without, let us know on our subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash rcompose. And if you would like to use Bitwarden or any other plugin with rcompose, go to rcompose.com to sign up for your own instance today.